Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I have decked the table Thanksgiving. So if you're new around here, you're in good hands. Deck the table is also new around here. This is only gonna be my second unboxing. The first unboxing, oh God, that's heavy. The first unboxing I did was the Halloween box. You can go check it out up here. I did ask right before filming this if there is any inventory left on that box. And she said there are a few boxes left. So if you go up there, you watch that video and you're loving it, you can grab the URL, grab the coupon code, and you can order the Halloween box right now. But I am spoiling the full Thanksgiving box for you guys. So for those of you who hung around last time when we did the Halloween box, you guys provided such good feedback. I am just, once again, so impressed and thankful for y'all. You leaned in and kind of articulated well things that you didn't really care for and things that you did care for, things that you really loved she was doing, but also things you would like to see. Um, and then I wanna brag on Rachel, the woman who owns Deck the Table, who curates this box. You know, it's really tough to build a box and then toss it out there and then have all of us critique it and then to take that and pivot and grow from it. And you guys, that's exactly what she did. She has the sweetest spirit. If you follow her on Instagram, I'll throw her Instagram down here, uh, that bubbly personality is just truly who she is, which spills forth in how cute the designs are for the tables. So I wanted to say thank you to you guys for leaning in and offering such good advice. And a big thank you to Rachel for having such a good spirit when we were tossing feedback to her like crazy. She did make pivots. She read all of the comments. She took them to heart and made a few different pivots for Deck the Table Thanksgiving full spoilers here. She still is in beta, so it is individual boxes being sold. So you would just log in, order this box, and you're done. It is not a reoccurring subscription yet. That will start in 2023. She really wants to make sure that her box is perfect before she sells you a subscription. So Deck the Table or Deck It Box by Deck the Table is a holiday-based tablescape box. There are six holidays. Uh, let's see, Valentine's, Easter, 4th of July, Halloween, which we just showed you, Thanksgiving, which I'm showing you now, and then Christmas, which is coming up next. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss that pop-up. It is only $99, so she listened to some feedback about the price and she dropped the price quite a bit. If you use code PINK10, you do get 10% off your first box. And I've seen nothing. I have avoided spoilers like crazy because I did get some Halloween spoilers and I don't like seeing it before I open it. So I want y'all to see my real raw reaction, real raw feedback, because I don't have a clue what is in here. But you do get three to five high quality tabletop products in every box. This box has an add-on option. You can add the table bunch, which is only $35, and it comes with paper placemats and a floral paper table runner. I don't know if these are in here or not. If they are, I'll show them to you. So that's an add-on if you wish. This box starts shipping on October 11th. And to get this box, you can order anytime between now and October 31st, unless of course it sells out. Okay, I think there's more I wanna tell you, but I think that's like the most important I wanna dive in and see what's in here. I'm really excited. I love the Halloween box. Um, the color, the curation, the theme was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm very excited to see what she does with this box. Once again, if you follow her on Instagram, you were able to see all the different tablescapes she did with her Halloween box. I'm about to show you my Halloween tablescape because I couldn't do it in the video because my husband was filming something else at the same time and he had the dining room. Colors. Like I, I like took that in in stages. Okay. This box is extremely heavy, just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna slide it down here real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up 
these things that are on top. I am thinking she sent everything to me. Oh my gosh, she did. Okay, yay, I'm gonna be able to show you everything. So the table bunch, which includes a set of paper placemats and a floral paper runner, retail value $44. It's an add-on to the box down there is only 35. Let me show you the add-on items first just because they're sitting on top. This is what I was freaking out about. I love the colors on these pieces. So look, I'm loving the mix of the blues in there, y'all. I love blues and greens. They are my, my color. So I'm loving that extra pop because I feel like it sets all the oranges off. Posh placemats, 10 placemats by Rosebeck Collections. I'm not familiar with them. Retail value $24 on the Give Thanks placemats. Okay. So kind of like the paper placemats in the last box, they're the high quality mats. Several of y'all were like, well, why not just laminate them and use them over and over and over, which is a brilliant idea. You absolutely could laminate. These are also, <laughs> this is, here I go. If you have a circular mirror or frame, you could put that on there and that would look so pretty hanging on the wall. Of course, it's going to look gorgeous setting on a tablescape on like if you have a rustic wood table. Oh my gosh. So that's what the front looks like and the back is plain. And then, oh, should I unwrap this? Why not? Let's just dive in and open it. I love this floral print. This is really similar, but not exactly to the wallpaper I'm putting up in little Paige's room for her room makeover that I'm hoping to share with you guys probably closer to the end of November or December. Once again, I'm already getting covered in stuff. Woo wee. Once again, supply chain, you just never know when things are gonna come in. But this is gorgeous. This is a little bit thinner than this paste mat is. This is a hardier, more card store, card stock feeling. This is a more like wrapping paper, honestly. Oh my gosh. You could totally use this as wrapping paper if you were going to a Thanksgiving party. It's actually on a roll. So what's nice about that is, does it say on the feet around here? You could set multiple tablescapes with it. It's 20 inches like this by 12 feet this way. So, I mean, if you have a six foot long table, you can serve two meals worth with this running down the center. Beautiful. So let's see if I am talented enough to hold this up together. So if you had this down the center and then these in front of each chair, I love coordinating but not matching. I am a big make it coordinate but don't make it match. So I'm a fan for this. If you remember from our last box, we got the white fringe napkins. Uh, one of y'all recommended tie dyeing those on, uh, I think she did it. Um, I don't remember which one of you commented and said, I would totally tie dye those napkins to make them Halloween. Rachel got on and did it. Once again, you can see it on her Instagram. Uh, super cute, but if you didn't tie dye your napkins, they would totally go with this setup beautifully. What is this guy? So this is, this is the add-on items. I'm gonna kind of keep those over there so we can kind of see the difference between the two. This is, well, I'm trying not to let that fall. Do not fall. What is this? It's super light. Ooh, these are wood cutouts. You guys, I'm a huge fan of wood cutouts. I just had one made like large scale for Emma's room that has her name on it. If you wanna see Emma's room and see that wood cutout go up here, turned out fabulous. So there's three of these and they say thankful, grateful, blessed. I wonder what we're supposed to do with these. I totally, totally can imagine putting down your round placemat putting down your plate and putting down your napkin folded in a rectangle manner and tucked under the plate and that setting on top. Okay, they're very sturdy. I was <laughs> in my love for wood cutouts. There is a very big, um, there can be a vast difference in the quality of a wood cutout. Like for instance, you can get wood cutouts like these and barely be able to touch them because they're so thin, they just snap. Or like when you pick it up, they bow. And after bowing a few times, they snap. As you can see, look, these are really thick, really hardy, excellent, excellent quality. 
I'm making a wreath with this in my head right now. I know I'm supposed to put them on the table, but I mean, the ideas are rolling as to what I can do. Hold on. The police literally just pulled up in front of my house. <laughs> Hold on, what am I missing out on? I'm in here playing with subscription boxes. Am I like being robbed? So weird. Like we live in like the most boring, chill neighborhood ever. Nothing ever goes on. Um, he went next door, so I guess I'm behaving. I'm not in trouble. Okay, sorry, total huge distraction. She shipped me this box early. So the printout, as y'all have heard me say a million times, the printouts weren't quite done. So she emails like most of my boxes do, the printout so I can chat with you guys. What are these signs? A set of nine wooden place cards. Add a special touch with these quarter inch Baltic birch, thankful, grateful, blessed place cards. Each piece is 10 inches wide by two to two and a half inches tall. Leave natural or paint to customize to your luck totally leaving these natural. I think these are gorgeous. So there's nine place settings here. How many are in here? Did we look? 10 place mats. So right, we've got a place setting for nine, which is a big place setting, by the way. Perfect for like a gathering. I want to pull this next because it's just like screaming at me. We have a fall throw, which once again coordinates with the colors and the place mats really, really well, as, as well as the table runner. That looks really cute too. So here's this guy right here. He does have fringe. A pumpkin seed throw, 50 inches by 60 inches. Drape this luxurious blanket over a table to add warmth and texture to your table. So y'all know me with blankets. I drape them everywhere. I have them across obvious places like the edge of my fireplace, the edge of the couch, the blanket ladder. I love them to drape in the bottom of just about any basket to add a little touch. Hang them on the back of all of my outdoor furniture, all the individual chairs have a blanket you can cozy up with. I have them on the back of the captain chairs on my table to cozy up with. You could totally use this as a runner as well. So like we have obviously that runner, but let me just, just give you something to noodle. Look at it down the center. If you then filled this with like pumpkins and gourds all down the center, it'd add that soft plushness to the harder textures of like plates and silverware. And look, that looks really, really cute together. Or you can just cozy up in it. So one of the things we were chatting about last time is, although everything was beyond cute in the box, uh, not very many of the items were reusable. And so she took that feedback and she loves paper. She does a lot of design with paper. Like the, the basis of her like company that she runs that this box is joining in on is uh, using cute paper to decorate with. So she's been doing tablescapes with paper for forever. If you get on her Instagram once again, you can see really all the cute designs. And so this time she's making these paper add-ons an option, but they're not mandatory. And she's already given us very, very reusable items and very high quality reusable items, which I am very impressed with. Okay, I'm guessing this is the item, yeah, that is heavy. <laughs> Cause this box is so heavy. So that's gorgeous. I'm gonna feel really guilty opening this. But I mean, we gotta go there. Like legit, this is so heavy that it's like hard for me to lift it with one arm. What is in here? I'm guessing a serving something. Cause right, she's a tablescape box. And we're planning for Thanksgiving where we serve others, but we'll see. Ooh, I think I'm right. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is really cute. <laughs> so look at my arms are shaking. <laughs> it is marble, but it looks like it has a brass finish on the edge. The back does have feet. Of course, it's shaped like a pumpkin. This is so cute. And the brass edge really ties in the other pieces we have here. I love this. 
the pumpkin shaped marble serving board. This 12 inch by 12 inch marble with gold foil edging serving board is perfect to display an array of treats used as a tray or use as a decorative charger. Okay. So in the box, which is what we say is dropped down to $99. You get the marble serving tray, the throw blanket, and the set of nine wood place holder things. What are these things called? Place cards. Then if you wanna add on for $35, you can get the table runner and the paper placemats, making the box total 134 for everything you see here. Let me run and grab my white fringe napkins because I want to show you what I mean with the idea for this. So give me just a second to grab my, a plate and that napkin because you have to see this. Okay, so <laughs> y'all know how I was like, oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan of that blue. Yeah, like quite literally, these are the plates in my kitchen. Like, it's just, I love that blue. So opening this, I was like, perfect for me. So let me scoot this. I brought one of each. I wanna show you two different ways to do this. So I have a white on blue set. And I have a blue on white set. We can decide and vote which one we think is prettiest once we get a set. And then I have my napkins. I have not ironed them after the last dinner party I hosted where we used these. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the fact that they're a little wrinkly. Okay. We're also gonna fold them a couple different ways to decide which fold we're digging. So we'll try that and that. Mm. Okay, let's see if I can hold it up. You breaking plates. I'm a fan of that. So we'll call this white on blue. Do you like white on blue with the blessed or blue on white with the grateful? So this is blue on white. I honestly, would probably do both. I think that I would be a both person and rotate it across the table using something like the table runner or the blanket through the center to create even more chaos because in my world, more is more. I do not like simplicity. I like complex layers, levels. But if you're like, no, that's too much, you could do this. Look how pretty white on white looks. Very clean, very clean. What do you think about white on white? That looks pretty good, huh? And then here is blue on blue. Uh, a little more of a pop because we have that white napkin, right? You also have to tell me which colors are your favorite. Here's blue on blue. So if you're like, ah, I am not a more is more girl, I'm a less is more girl, doing these solid coordinating plates with this down the center would be much more soothing and calm. So I would love to know what you guys think. Rachel made a lot of tweaks, lowered the price, not only lowered the price, also added in multi-use reusable things with the option to add on the paper products. I feel like that is a huge like customer service. Like, I don't know, like she's showing that she's listening and she's showing that she truly wants to curate a box that we love. I, I just, I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I love this. I would go for the 135 or 134 or whatever it is because I would want, I want these. And uh, the, the, after the Halloween box, of course I started noticing the paper placemats, not just those, but like the, that whole line of paper placemats when I was out shopping. And it was an easy $45, $50 if you walk into a boutique and shop. And I went through um, 
Old Town Bernie and uh, Downtown San Antonio and saw them in different shops. And I'm telling you over and over, 45.50, 45.50. And so I have to say, I know, I know we could scour the internet and probably find these things cheaper, but that's not why I do subscription boxes. I pay for the beautiful curation, the quality products. I don't wanna use all my time scouring the internet to find things. There's certain things I love to do that with. Trust me, we were like going after kids shoes the other day and I was down to like a $2 difference and my husband's like, Samantha, let it go, just order it. But with things like this, when they're gifted to me and, oh, I'll, I'll pop the photo up here because I don't have the magazine, with photo ideas like this and then Rachel shows more and more ideas on her Instagram, I don't know, I love it. It brings so much joy to my life. But I am, I love y'all's feedback. It helps everyone grow. So let me know what you guys are thinking with these new pivots. If you like this box, go subscribe. She has it available until Halloween, but she does have limited runs in inventory because these are beta boxes. She is still testing everything else before she launches big in 2023. Okay, you guys, we have so many beautiful fall and winter things coming your way. We're starting to see the winter trickle in this coming week. We've got fall things we're still doing. And of course, we're just now getting to the month of October where all things Halloween take place. I just super decked my yard and did a little reel. Y'all, I don't know why I can film YouTube videos all day, but reels kick my booty. But if you want to see my attempt at a reel, it's on my Instagram page and it shows all of our front yard decor we did for our little Halloween touches. Um, you saw my Halloween dining table. I have some really special things happening this week. I can't say too much to you guys yet, but once I'm done filming those special things, the whole living room goes Halloween. I'm pretty excited about that. So even though we're unboxing the end of fall and the beginning of winter, Halloween's gonna be sneaking in and it'll be a lot of fun. All right, you guys, I hope that you have an absolutely blessed October. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.